Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be talking about the Grove Park Inn. And is it haunted? We'll let you decide. The Grove Park Inn is located in the United States in Asheville, North Carolina. It was the idea of businessman Edwin Wiley Grove, along with his son-in-law, Fred Loring Seeley. Grove was dealing with some health issues and after advice from his doctor, Asheville seemed to be the perfect place for him to be in terms of climate and temperature. He acquired the land where the hotel would be built around 1910 and by 1913, the hotel would open. And during the Second World War, the hotel was used as a center for Axis diplomats. The inn was then used as a recovery center for settlers. The Philippine government, during exile, also used the presidential cottage at the hotel. In 1955, the Grove Park Inn became part of Salmon's Enterprises. Then, KSL Resorts acquired the Grove Park Inn in 2012. They again resold it to Omni Hotels in 2013, and then it was renamed the Omni Grove Park Inn. The hotel will become well known to many people over the years, and the guest list is quite impressive. 27th President William Howard Taft would be the first of many U.S. presidents to visit or stay at the hotel. Woodrow Wilson, Calvin Coolidge, Herbert Hoover, Franklin D. Roosevelt, Dwight D. Eisenhower, Richard Nixon, George H.W. Bush, Bill Clinton, and Barack Obama have all stayed at the hotel. And while 27th President William Howard Taft was the first to visit, 44th President Barack Obama was the last to visit the hotel in 2010. But not just U.S. presidents, there's also been reports that other famous people such as Thomas Edison, Henry Ford, Harry Houdini, F. Scott Fitzgerald, and Jerry Seinfeld have also visited the hotel. Now there have been many reports over the years that the hotel is haunted. It's said that the Pink Lady has been haunting the hotel for more than half a century. Now details are scarce of who the, exactly the pink lady was, but it is said that the lady was staying at the hotel in room 545 and fell from the balcony to her death into the Palm Court Atrium in 1920. Some say she accidentally slipped and fell, some say she jumped, and yet others say she was pushed and it was said that she was wearing a pink gown at the time of her death. Now we may never know what actually happened that night, but we do know that it's commonly agreed that the pink lady is a good-natured or kind spirit, and some claim that she has been seen by the beds of children who are sick, speaking softly and stroking their hands as if to comfort them through their illness. And there was a story of a doctor who had been staying at the inn the story says he left a note when he checked out asking the staff to thank the lady in the pink ball gown and that his children told him how much they enjoyed playing with her during their stay. There's also been reports over the years that the pink lady likes to play pranks and she would turn lights off and on, turn off and on air conditioners, and she enjoys moving objects around the room. And some also say you may awaken to her tickling your feet. Staff at the Grove Park Inn are used to the Pink Lady and her shenanigans. Other reports of the Pink Lady typically involve a pink mist that has been seen to flow along the hallways of the hotel and its grounds. Many hotel guests and staff members have told plenty more stories about the Pink Lady and her hauntings, but people often say she seems to be a gentle spirit whoever she is. And so if you do visit there and you do see her, maybe this will ease your mind. I will leave a link in the description box below to the Grove Park Inn website if you'd like to plan a visit for yourself or just read up more about the inn. And if you like this type of content, please hit the like button. And if you're brand new here, we would love for you to subscribe to the channel 
and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when we upload new content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.